Beneath our feet, something amazing is hiding deep inside the Earth. It's not just rock or lava, it's something wet, something flowing, something that almost seems impossible. Scientists have discovered what might be a giant ocean, buried about 400 miles underground. You can't swim in it, you can't see it. But it's real, and it's changing how we think about our planet. This isn't just a random puddle. It may hold more water than all the oceans on the surface combined. It's trapped inside a special rock, far below the Earth's crust. So how did scientists find it? What does it mean for us? And could this discovery explain where all our oceans came from? Let's take a calm journey into the Earth's deepest secrets. And if you like stories like this, don't forget to subscribe. Segment 1. What was discovered? The story begins with a strange rock called Ringwoodite. Ringwoodite is not a rock you find on the beach or in your backyard. It forms deep inside the Earth, under extreme pressure and heat, about 400 miles below the surface, in a part of the Earth called the mantle. In 2014, scientists studying diamonds found something strange. Inside a diamond from deep underground, they saw tiny pieces of Ringwoodite. But this wasn't just ordinary rock. When they looked closely, they discovered tiny droplets of water trapped inside it. That's right, real water. Not just moisture or gas, but H2O. This was a huge moment. Scientists had long believed there might be water deep inside the Earth, but now they had real proof. These droplets showed that water isn't just on the surface in oceans and lakes. It also exists inside the planet, held tightly in special rocks. Even more amazing, tests showed that ringwoodite can hold up to 1.5% of its weight in water. That doesn't sound like much, but when you consider how much ringwoodite might be in the mantle, it adds up, possibly three times more water than in all the oceans on Earth. This discovery came from work by geophysicist Stephen Jacobson and his team. Their research showed that Earth's mantle isn't dry. It's full of hidden water deep inside the rocks. This changes how we understand our planet. Segment two, how it was found. So how do you find water buried 400 miles underground? You can't dig that deep. The deepest hole ever made only went about 7.5 miles down. That's nothing compared to the depths we're talking about here. Instead, scientists used a clever method. They listened to earthquakes. When an earthquake happens, it sends out waves through the Earth. These waves are called seismic waves, and they travel through everything, rock, liquid, even molten metal. Scientists place sensitive tools called seismometers all around the world. These tools record how the waves move. By studying the speed and direction of the waves, scientists can guess what materials the waves pass through. In this case, scientists notice that seismic waves change slightly when they pass through the area where ringwoodite exists. The waves move slower, as if they were passing through something soft or wet. That was the first big clue. Stephen Jacobson's team recreated the high-pressure conditions of the deep earth in a laboratory. They tested how ringwoodite behaves under pressure and found that it holds water. Not like a lake or river, but like a sponge trapping water molecules inside its structure. They matched these lab tests with real earthquake data and found a perfect fit. The mantle's transition zone, a part of the Earth between 250 to 400 miles deep, wasn't just solid rock, it was wet. Other scientists around the world confirmed this. Similar earthquake data from different countries showed the same thing. The evidence was too strong to ignore. This wasn't just a guess, it was solid science, backed by testing and data. Thanks to earthquakes, lab work, and some very smart people, we now know there's water hidden deep beneath our feet. It's not in rivers or lakes, but it's very real. Segment three, why it matters. You might be wondering, why does this matter? If we can't use the water or see it, why is it important? Well, this discovery may help solve one of Earth's greatest puzzles, plate tectonics. The Earth's surface is broken into pieces called tectonic plates. These plates move slowly, bumping into each other or sliding apart. When they move, they cause earthquakes, volcanoes, and even build mountains. But scientists have always wondered, what makes them move? Now, we think water deep in the mantle may be the answer. 
This hidden water could make the rock softer, helping the plates slide more easily. It's like oil in an engine. It keeps things running smoothly. But that's not all. This deep water might also explain where Earth's surface oceans came from. For a long time, scientists believed water came from comets hitting Earth. But now, there's another idea. Maybe the water was already inside the Earth and slowly came up through volcanoes over millions of years. This could mean our oceans didn't come from space, but from deep within the planet. Also, water in the mantle plays a big role in how volcanoes erupt. When water mixes with hot rock, it causes the rock to melt more easily. That can create pressure and lead to powerful eruptions. So, understanding where this water is and how much there is could help scientists predict volcanic activity and even earthquakes. And finally, it shows us how little we really know about Earth. We've explored the Moon and Mars, but we still haven't explored much beneath our own feet. This discovery changes how we see our planet. It's not just dry rock inside. It's a dynamic world with water, heat, and movement, all working together to shape life on Earth. Segment 4, Earth's Deepest Mysteries. Now that we know there's water deep underground, it makes us wonder, what else is down there? Earth has many layers, like an onion. We live on the outer layer, the crust. Below that is the mantle, then the outer core, and finally the inner core. But most of these layers are still a mystery. The discovery of water inside Ringwoodite shows us that the mantle is not just dry rock. It's alive, changing, and full of secrets. Some scientists believe that strange new minerals could exist deep down. The pressure and heat are so extreme they could create unknown forms of matter, stuff we've never seen before. Others wonder if there's life down there. It may sound strange, but scientists have already found tiny living things called extremophiles in deep ocean vents and underground caves. These creatures don't need sunlight. They live off heat and chemicals. So could there be life even deeper inside the Earth? We don't know for sure, but it's possible. And then there are ancient stories. Many cultures around the world talk about a great flood. The Bible tells the story of Noah, Mesopotamian stories talk about a flood, too. Native American legends and Indian texts also mention water rising and covering the land. Could these stories be connected to Earth's hidden water? Some scientists think that early volcanic eruptions may have released water from deep inside the Earth. Over time, this could have added to rising seas and strange weather. Maybe ancient people witnessed parts of this and turned it into myth. Even if these stories aren't exact history, they may be inspired by real events from deep in the Earth. This hidden ocean proves one thing. We still have a lot to learn. Earth's deepest layers may hold more surprises. New life, new rocks, maybe even clues to how life began. The journey to understand our planet is far from over. CTA. We often look to the stars when searching for the unknown. But sometimes the greatest mysteries are right beneath our feet. The giant ocean hidden inside Earth reminds us that our planet is still full of surprises. We've only scratched the surface. With every new discovery, we learn a little more about how Earth works and how special it really is. So stay curious, because science isn't just about rockets and robots. It's also about the ground you walk on and the secrets it holds. If you enjoyed this journey into Earth's hidden ocean, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There are many more discoveries to explore together. Thanks for watching.